some bright morning when this life is over I'll fly away to a Hello, my name is Adam Traum and welcome to this homespun lesson on basic soloing for the guitar. A four. I wanted to give you that context for the C scale and, and show you that all those notes are just right in the scale and a lot of those notes are, are right in your chord as well. What if we went from our first note and let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What if we went from our one, one, three, notes. So one, three, two, four, three, four. On the banks of the Ohio, Banks of the Ohio, a great old folk song, and uh, it's a neat tune in the key of D. There's a bunch of cool open notes. Um, let's first talk about our uh, chord structure here. Second octave, D, E. Now notice I could go to my open E here, but I'm going to play my fretted one for now. And notice. All of a sudden we have our melody right under our scale. I'm worried now, but I won't be worried long. Did you see how I went? Slide up. here, did a little slide, all of a sudden we're getting a little bit more interesting here. In the sky, Lord, in the sky. this little shape in there. Notice how I just went like that. So if I'm playing my melody. All of a sudden, I've got this really cool thing that's just right there under our fingers. We don't have to do anything. You just have to get used to this shape. Remember, so we had that A shape, A bar shape. soft make it low so my good gal won't know lay me down a pallet on your floor I started here and then I'm gonna do a hand shift The reason I like to do that hand shift there is 
it makes it a lot faster. Let's do that little exercise we did where we jumped. Mm -hmm. 